Whoa, slow the fuck down there, buddy. This is a no-nut zone. There'll be none of that draining the dragon, no firm in the worm, dropping the stomach pancakes, flogging your dung, flogging your log, grease the pipe, greasing your bone, the ham shank. I don't think we'll be having any of that. Hone your bone, holding your sausage hostage. And boy, I'll have you know, if I catch anyone doing that Masonic secret self handshake or oiling the pogo stick around here, I'll be having very firm words indeed. But hey guys, it's me, No no November Champion from 2012 to 2015 here, and we're back at it again with some Hearts of Iron 4, and today it's going to be Oh, it's gonna be fucking terrible. Oh, but I saw a productions. I don't know how to read. So I've clicked on this video not already knowing what's happening. Well, my friend, what's happening is going to be something you wish you weren't able to see instead of being unable to fucking read. What's up, comrades? Welcome back to What If Michael J. Fox won World War One. Honestly, I'm looking at this map right now and I'm really having a hard time thinking just how I've come to this point in my fucking life. Honestly, I think it might have been the 2016 No Nut November Championship when I got hit by a stray bag of Smash Crab. Oh, but it's so beautiful. There's so many choices to who I can play as. Oh, oh my god, I don't think I can resist. Hey, don't you stop right there, mister, before you start seasoning any meat around here. This map is nothing but an abomination. An abomination that's going to make my eyes sore. Uh, but seriously, this is gonna be fucking terrible. Oh, well, at least we still got the color changer mod. I don't know, we can make ourselves a nice re- Ah, well, uh, apparently we'd prefer to be green. So for the start of this video, I'm not going to have the always war mod on, but once we get through to about 1939, I will switch it on. Otherwise, I'm afraid my CPU might actually commit seppuku. You know what would make the game really fun? If we had absolutely not a single military factory! <laughs> well, I guess I'll just train my people with the hopes and dreams that maybe one day they'll have a gun. Oh, hey everybody, and welcome back to just how fast is 5 speed in this mod, and as you can see, I'm going to be here for a very, very long time. It might also confuse you why we have a Chinese man with an English person's name in charge of our Indian country, but let's not get into too much of the law here before I end up in a BuzzFeed article. Oh, any day now we'll get this focus. <laughs> any fucking day. 20 minutes later we finished industrial focus, now we get to relive the fun time of waiting all over a fucking again. I like how Europe looked like it was attacked by a blind ninja that can't quite throw accurately. Shit son, we got ourselves a factory in! One, 1 1.37 guns a day, just gotta make 10,800. 10, Ah! Uh, so one little minor detail I failed to miss was that the mod developer also messed with resources. Just, just a little bit. I, I just want to say there was a tiny, tiny little bit of meddling that might have been happening. Aha! We've got ourselves our first unit of infantry and whilst it may be equipped with plastic knives and forks for weapons, some of them do have guns made out of said plastic forks and knives. Also, just to make this a bit more bearable, not having to wait 300 days for a goddamn war justification, I'm going to put instant justification on. I know, right? I've cheated just like 2016, no, no, November. Go forward and conquer my brave troops, the only unit of infantry in the entire world, and any, any day now, they should walk into Goa. Any day. Oh, would you look at that? My one unit of infantry is actually full of fascists and civil war for fascists. And while I do have the only infantry filled with fascists, I think I might not want to risk the fact that my one unit of fascists might actually end up on the democratic side because 
It fucking happens sometimes. I like how my one unit of infantry is probably considered a weapon of mass destruction, being the only infantry in the entire world. So I'm going to try conquer as much land as I can before I put the always war mod on. I don't think the AI is going to do much declaring, although it can do some, probably. I, I, I just don't want to put my fucking money on it, all right? We call for a democratic referendum on taking away all of your democratic rights. Oh, look, cool. It's Peter White, another Chinese man with a very ironic name. Don't stop me. Oh, I'll answer. That's a bit too fast. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good... So there's actually now an alliance in the world, the Great Asian Alliance between all these Indian states and Corsica. Which is just a fun old fucking time. I can't even wait to figure out how I'm going to get to fucking Corsica. Don't worry, guys. I've got myself my own faction. That's right. Help. It's, it's with this one state in the middle of Russia. Or I guess Central Asia. And, uh, they won't even join my fucking war. Fair enough, really. Ah, so uh, one thing I noticed early on is that the mod developer took away every single port in the game. So when I navally invaded Ceylon... That troop stuck there forever. Oh, Nebraska joined the Asian Alliance. That's a real fucking fun Oh my god. It's fucking Kentucky. Totally formed on its own and I'm totally not just setting up nations for when I turn away to Walmart on Giggle. Well, I think it's only fair if you get Nebraska, I get Kentucky. Because uh, Nebraska on its own, that's a bit too overpowered, isn't it, Asian Alliance? Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got formable nations on, which means I get to reform into the Mughal Empire. Doesn't mean jack shit, but guess what? I got a fucking flag. Only country in the world with a flag. Oh, 3.52 million manpower. That's a... Well, if you just love the fucking Falkland Island so much, why don't you go fucking mad? Oh, that you already did. Oh, no, watch out, guys. It's... Chuklakamankan. Taklamankana. Taklamanaka. Taplamana. Oh, I guess the Prussians ran out of German people to invade because now they're just invading other fucking Prussians. And honestly, I'm not even sure in the fucking mod anymore because I've seen Germany just get fucking gangbanged from every side for about five mods now. Oh, Corsica, you thought I would never come for you and by the looks of these naval invasions, I'm probably never gonna make it onto the fucking island. Even when I do make it onto the island, all my guys are gonna starve to death because there's no fucking poor. Boy, do you not remember the great unification war between Wales and the West Midlands? The ultimate battle of undeveloped shitholes. Oh no, I saw reductions. I hope you know Birmingham's a wonderful place. Shut up. Just shut up. Oh, with the great capitulation of Corsica, we've now got... So many fucking people to annex. So I think we're at a stable enough point now where we can turn the always war mod on. I, I've conquered enough land and there are quite a few less countries in the world. And if, you, if you're wondering why I didn't turn it on in the first place, just Google the word fire and then Google the word CPU and just put them to fucking gather. Poor Illinois. It's like the seventh time they've been annexed in a row now. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4. And... Boy, oh boy, I can already feel my bank balance decreasing from me buying a new i7. God damn it, it's like browsing porn in the early 2000s. There's just too many pop-ups! Ah, oh, cool. I've got so many wars that they've decided that technology probably won't save me as I can no longer access half of the technology bar. On this episode of scrolling through every war that is currently happening in the game, we're going to be scrolling, as you can see, for quite a long, 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 la long, long, long. We're not, e we're not, what the fuck, there's so many wars! You know what, it was pretty fun to play as the Mughal Empire. I am going to go ahead and sneak something else in here very quickly. I've never played as Israel, you might ask. Well, boy, here we go. I was secretly a Jew the entire time. <laughs> I'm also fascist and allied to the Nazis, though, and I have a swastika on my flag, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. Well, believe it or not, I'm actually making some work on all these people I'm at war with, which is pretty good. Uh, the Germans are on my side, and apparently they're going communist, which it, it kind of helps out my cause, because I don't actually want them to murder me. 
Germany, is there any way you could really just emphasize a bit more just how much you're a bit of like a Nazi regime that hates everyone but Aryan White? But, oh, there you go. Perfect, Germany. Just rename yourself to the White Empire. That'll fucking do it quite nicely. Oh, hey, look. I'm in a peace deal with nobody. No, I didn't already take them. I'm just in a peace deal with nobody. Boy, Spain's looking real nice, isn't it? It's looking real fucking nice. I'd go over there and have a nice holiday in this big old pile of shit. Fucking Kai's right. Freeway Spanish Civil War. Nah, mate. 40 man Bukake Civil War. Wasn't into the whole Israel thing, funnily enough. Apparently, you gotta chop a bit your dick off. Not quite up my alley. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't want to have a piece of your dick off. Well, unfortunately, the game crashed and keeps crashing whenever I get to the end of this month. So, we had a fun run. I've conquered way too much shit. Unfortunately, we didn't get like a big standoff war with probably the Nazis, but it looks like the Nazis are uh, unfortunately gonna fucking get wrecked anyway. Uh, I think next time, if I do this again, say if we get like 10k likes on this video, boom, 10,000 likes on this video, I'll do this again, but maybe I'll try and put the always war mod on straight away, but it, I, I'm i gonna fucking break my CPU if that happens, so I, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, if you want to see that, guys, feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, if you want to say any other crazy scenarios, feel free to leave a suggestion down below, or if you know I can fix this save. It doesn't deserve saving, let's be fucking honest. Um, yeah. Just let it fucking die.